Let's go kill a big buck. All right. Got coffee? Got coffee. We're good to go. <laughs> Getting something. I already know I am. <laughs> I guess I got everything we need to kill a buck though, so it's really all that matters. If I freeze doing it, then I guess I freeze doing it. <laughs> camera v camera. <laughs> all the cameras. We're getting things set up and ready. I'm just throwing on my rain gear, my XKG jacket. Um, making sure I got some extra clothes. Hand warmers, gloves, bow, going ground assault. All right, we're splitting off. All right, dude. Good luck. Kill good luck, buddy. Yeah, you too. That's if you guy. have service, try text me, but I don't know if I'll have service or not. If not, maybe just meet back at the truck around noon. Dude, sounds good to me. I do. Yeah. Some, uh, some ramen noodles, noodles in the jet bowl. Oh, I'm so down. I'm already hungry, dude. <laughs> All right, good luck, man. Thank you, man. Hey, what's going on, guys? So, I'm all set up here on the ground. Yesterday was obviously a long day for me. Uh, we searched 12 miles blood tracking that deer. But like I had explained on the previous video, I really do think that buck is still alive. Uh, so, came back in here this morning, hiked in a mile and a half, and I'm set up in an awesome clear cut opening with cedars all around, um, oak brush. So, it's honestly a really nice opening, but <clears throat> it is. 32 degrees right at the freezing point, but uh, it says it feels like 23. So I'm glad that I've got my rain gear. I've got my King's Camo rain gear, uh, top and bottom, and it's honestly keeping me pretty warm. It's just spitting sideways rain every once in a while. It's just barely drizzling right now. So uh, I'm just gonna do this interview real quick and then put my camera back in the bag, but gonna rattle see if I can't bring something in that's the game plan is just <clears throat> rattle sit for about an hour move off two three hundred yards do the same thing and work my way all the way back over to the truck might get to the truck around noon and uh, meet back up with Ryan and see what he saw tonight so we're gonna crack the horns together here and see what we can't bring in I just rattled in a giant. 
I just barely got him on video. He was 25 yards. And he just dipped into the tree line. <clears throat> I mean a giant. He got kind of spooked. Because I went to go turn my camera on. I think he saw some movement. But he came in, ears pinned back. packing up from this spot and I'm gonna start moving to different spots to continue rattling. I just had a doe and a fawn come through this little opening while I was trying to get packed up and they blew. I'm gonna go over there and check it out and see if there's a tree worth hanging in because I'm still, I really, really like this area, like a lot. But I need to do some foot scouting before I figure out uh, my hanging hunt spots. Gonna pack things up a little bit and then just start slowly still stalking my way through the woods, setting up every once in a while and rattling. It's a perfect time of year and the perfect conditions to do that. So, pack things up and start moving. All right, set up in a new spot. I'm gonna crack the horns together and see if I can't rattle something in. I've rattled a couple times and uh, so far nothing's come in. It's been about a half hour. Um, I don't love this vantage point where I'm at. I'd like to get around. This is a big ridge top and it flows around this side. So I want to get around on the back side. It'll actually get my wind better and uh, set up over there and rattle again. Well, you going that way? I think so. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I'm going that way. Yeah. Heck yeah. Good luck, buddy. Get him, dude. Hey, I'll we'll hey. see you. Good luck. All right, we'll see you all at the truck at dark. Yes, sir. All right, guys. Headed into my spot. Um, I'm going ground assault again tonight. Met up with the boys back at the truck. And uh, Ryan and his buddy are headed basically to the uh, furthest east side of this property. And I'm headed west. It's about 1.30 right now. It started early. Headed back here. Hopefully uh, going to get right above a big oak flat and uh, put the rattling horns to use. Hopefully pull a buck up out of that oak flat kind of do what I did this morning and work my way into the wind calling as I go um, these bucks are so aggressive out here on this property right now so I think that's the best bet of pulling something to me hopefully I can get a shot 
a big bed right there. All right, I'm all set up in my first spot that I'm gonna call. Um, I'm gonna rattle here a few times, maybe set up here half hour, 45 minutes. If I can't call anything in, I'm gonna move further another three, 400 yards and uh, try again. So, got a huge bottom below us. It's a sweet, sweet looking piece. Actually, looks like a deer right there. No oh deer. Do some ranges real quick. Been about 45 minutes. I've rattled twice, haven't pulled anything in. Um, I can see for a long ways in this field too. I haven't seen nothing, I've been glassing. So I'm gonna pack things up and uh, head further up north, get closer to that oak bottom. On to the next one. from this set. I'm slowly working myself up into where I want to be. I haven't even got there yet, but the terrain looks so good. I've been setting up and uh, doing a bit of calling. So um, I'm actually gonna put my DSLR in my backpack because it's starting to rain just enough that I really don't want to mess up my camera. <laughs> um, but if anything exciting happens, I'll just film it on my iPhone until I get set up on the next spot. All right guys, I am uh, set up at my final destination. I'm gonna start calling here in a little bit and then I'm gonna sit out here for about an hour before I start hunting my way back to the truck. Um, I'm three miles in right now. Like, I'm not even kidding you, I'm three miles in. <laughs> Let's get started.
hungry, man. Starting to hunt my way back to the truck. Three miles is a long walk. So, I might as well hunt it back if I can. Man, I had high hopes for this spot back here, but there's virtually no deer sign. Like, the deer sign is horrible back here. I've seen more deer sign right next to the road. But like I said, I'm gonna hunt my way back. Hopefully I run into something. guys unfortunately my camera just died just trying to do an outro but um yeah so that is it for today's video we're just walking back to the truck i got about a mile left maybe so um man i wish i saw more deer this evening but that's all right i put on a ton of miles today four miles this morning and uh it's gonna be just over six miles by the time i get back to the truck so just over 10 miles today um, and I had that great encounter this morning I just screwed it up um, just wasn't thinking about getting my camera ready in time and uh, he busted me so just the way it goes but tomorrow's a new day looking forward to it so guys I appreciate y'all watching if you like this video please remember to smash that subscribe button give this video a like and we will catch you on the next one peace Oh